Greetings comrades, Multi Game Master one reporting in and welcome to part 13, the finale of Portal 2. In part 12, we've evaded all of Wheatley's deadly traps, and in part 13, we're going to settle the score with Wheatley. We need to get over there, so let's start things off by popping a portal over there and one underneath the orange propulsion gel so that we can cover this walkway over here with the gel. Next, we are going to place another portal right there and run to catch the excursion funnel. And we're off. And as we make our way to the other side, take a look at the amount of damage that's been done in this place. How do you know? Really? And it took you many years until now to finally realize that, GLaDOS? I will say, you're starting to become more human than you are robot. We're getting close to Wheatley, but the problem is we still need to find a way to defeat him. I'm sure we'll find something eventually. Sounds like a plan, GLaDOS, even though you're having me do all of the work. But at this point in time, it doesn't even matter. What matters most is defeating Wheatley before it's too late. Me in and I'll take you, up. you got it. Yes, let's do this. Well, well, well. Welcome to my up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes, and then a minute break, where we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, four. Throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good. I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking. Of course, good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Bring it on, Wiggly. Let's do this. So as you'll see on the monitor, we have five minutes to find a way to stun Wiggly before this whole entire facility explodes. You'll also want to watch out for his bombs during this fight. Now you'll see that we have no portable wall surfaces in this room, but we do have a tube here filled with white conversion gel. And as you may recall, bombs can be used to destroy the tube. So let's bait Wheatley into drawing his attack. Come on, Wheatley. and cause the white conversion gel to spill all over the place. Now in order for us to stun Wheatley, we're gonna have to use his bombs against him. So let's pop a portal here and here, bait him into drawing his attack and hope he's stunned. There we go, he's stunned and GLaDOS will send us the first corrupted core momentarily. Thanks GLaDOS. Wait, why am I thinking GLaDOS? Whatever, it doesn't even matter at this point. What matters is defeating Wheatley. This is the Space Corps, by the way, and he has an uncontrollable imagination for space. Yes, I know how much you want to go into space, little guy, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So to attach the core on Wheatley, focus on the red highlighted section and attach it on that spot. Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Bed system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four minutes. What happened? What happened? You're dying, that's what, what happened. happened. What okay, so for the second phase, we need to stun Wheatley again within four minutes. He's reconfigured his shield, so it's going to be more difficult for us to stun him. Luckily, there's a spot underneath him, so let's pop another portal right here and one right here and get him to draw his attack again. Come on, Wheatley, take your best shot. Second verse, same as the first. He's now stunned, and we can get the next corrupted core. 
Again, thanks, GLaDOS. You'll see it over there. And we'll get to it momentarily. Where is it? There it is. That is the Adventure Core. Simply put, he likes adventure. Yes, you can tell me all of your tales later, but right now I have a job for you. Let's attach this onto Wheatley. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Shut up, Wheatley. You're going to die. So for the third phase, Wheatley has reconfigured his shields again, and we now have two minutes to stun him again. I'm thinking that the only way that we can stun him is if we attack him from behind. So let's pop the portals, get him to draw his attack again. Come on, Wheatley. And after he's stunned for the final time, GLaDOS will send you one last corrupted core. And it's located up there, but it's too high for us to get up there. There must be a way. Propulsion gel. That's key. Two portals here and there. And now, let's get after the core. There we go. This is the... Wait, hang on a second. There we go. Sorry about that. This is the fat core, and he has an infinite amount of knowledge of Earth, both present and past. Yeah, that's interesting, but I need you for this. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core, are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Oh, great. Now what do we do? Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, great. Because we actually need to get in there. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Okay. I vote we press it. Let's pop one portal in there and one over there. Weekly, one word, two syllables. Checkmate. No! Maybe so, but not before you, Weekly. There's only one way that we can finish this, and that's this. Popping one last portal on the moon. I'm also surprised we're in space. Look at that. I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! By the looks of things, our work is finally done. And there's GLaDOS. So comrades, it's mission accomplished. We've defeated Wheatley, saved the Aperture Science Laboratories, and put GLaDOS back in control. Unfortunately. Now let's hope that she'll keep her promise to us. Oh look, robots! Oh thank god, you're alright. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. That was short. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? 
I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. That's it? <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. So, after everything we've been through, you're finally setting us free. Well, thanks GLaDOS. It has been fun, and I will miss you. Not really. And I also hope never to see you again. I knew it! Huh? Oh. Seems like the turrets have been reprogrammed to sing us a song. The song is Cara Mia Addio, by the way. It's basically an Italian aria. And I really don't have a translation for this song, but think of it as a turret opera. Listen carefully, and also look at all of those turrets. It's really nice of the tourists to sing us a song as we depart from the Aperture Science Laboratories for good. But like GLaDOS, I never want to see them again. I just want to get away from it all. There's the exit. Sweet freedom. Look at the open outside world. We're finally free. Smell that fresh air and take a look at the sights. Huh? What? Companion Cube! Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else.
Meanwhile, in space. So much space. Need to see it all. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. space. Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. Well, Wheatley, you brought this whole entire thing on yourself, so you've no one but yourself to blame. I will say, though, I do feel bad for you, especially since you're stranded in space. And this, guys, is the end to Portal 2. My review on the game is as follows. The gameplay was similar to that of Portal 1, I mean, we're given the opportunity to generate two portals with a portal gun, and we pretty much had the same platforming as before, and there were complicated tests for us to solve in the Aperture Science Laboratories. There's not really much of a difference, except that the tests in this game were a little bit more difficult to solve. Of course, those were the old mechanics. The new mechanics, however, were present in this game, we had discouragement redirection cubes which we could use to reflect lasers, advanced aerial faith plates that catapulted us across the air, heart light bridges that we could walk on, still surprised that we could walk on light by the way, and also the white conversion gel which we could use to create our own portals on surfaces that have been coated, blue repulsion gel which bounces us around, and orange propulsion gel which helps us run faster, and also Wheatley's bombs for destroying stuff, basically. So, while the gameplay in Portal 2 was similar to that of Portal 1, it was definitely a lot more better and a little bit more difficult, so top marks on that. The storyline to this game was amazing. I mean, we had all of the major events that took effect in this game, and we even had an amazing plot twist. I mean, First, we were focusing on taking out GLaDOS and then putting Wheatley in charge ended up creating the plot twist. I mean, it's rather amazing. You focus on one enemy, but then you turn your sights on another, especially when he goes completely mad with power and turns GLaDOS into a potato. And also, in addition to that, there are many secrets to be found in this game and it really brings up so many questions like when and where did this happen? What exactly happened between times? Why and how did this happen? It's questions like this that stir up the minds of an average gamer such as myself for this game. So the storyline was definitely fantastic. Top marks on that. Um, The characters we pretty much had the same characters before. I mean, we had Chell, GLaDOS, and Robots. Except, well, the Corrupted Cores were different, and so was Wheatley. Overall, I have to say, the characters weren't even that bad. And that also includes the defective turrets, by the way. The graphics for this game, spectacular. They're a lot more cleaner than what they were in... Portal 1, and you could tell right away that the environment and the atmosphere and all of the characters themselves within the game have been given an intense new makeover. It's definitely a lot more better than that of Portal 1. And lastly, the music was just simply amazing to listen to. You may or may not know this, but more than one piece of music was used throughout this whole entire game as opposed to that of Portal 1, which used less amounts. And we also had the end song of this game, Want You Gone by Jonathan Colton. And to be honest, it's a really good song to listen to, even though it sounds depressing. I mean, I find myself listening to it a few times a day at the least. 
So the music in this game was definitely a must listen to. And let's see, anything else to talk about the game? I think that pretty much covers it, so that concludes my review of Portal 2. And if I have to give this game a rating, it would definitely be a 9 out of 10. So if you guys are looking for brain puzzlers such as, well, other games that you've seen before, well, Portal 2 is the game for you. And so guys, that concludes my review of Portal 2. And this marks the end to my let's play of Portal 2. I want to thank you all so much for watching my series from start to finish. You guys have no idea how good I feel to see each and every single one of you just watch a series on games that we all know and love. I really do appreciate it guys. You guys are just incredibly awesome. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. Oh, and also one other thing I forgot to mention, I will cover the co-op campaign to this game soon, but I'm having a little bit of trouble right now, even as we speak. The problem is, I don't really have anyone to help me show it off, and it's rather tedious to find someone online to help you take care of a problem such as that. But once I get everything sorted out, I will start the co-op campaign right away and will upload parts of it onto YouTube as soon as possible. And I'll also make a short update video about that as well as my next upcoming Let's Play. At any rate, this concludes my Let's Play of Portal 2. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching my series from start to finish. I know I don't have a lot of people watching this now, but it's good to have fans. And you guys are the best fans that I could have asked for. If you guys enjoyed the series from start to finish, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Let's Plays. I will see you guys again in my next Let's Play project. Until we meet again, this is Multigame Master 1, signing out. Goodbye, comrades. So long.